Hey Taurus, TT here with a telepathic message for all of my Taurians. If y'all are new, welcome to our love nest over here on Talk Taurus Tarot. <clears throat> if you're returning, welcome back, you guys. I have a telepathic message for someone. So as always, I'm going to split the energies and we're going to tap into the person that is trying to telepathically communicate with you, see what's going on, what their next actions are towards you, what's manifesting in this connection. All right, so we're gonna start with the telepathic message first, and then we're gonna jump into your energy, Taurus. I may toggle in between both energies to kind of get a full scope or a full picture of what's going down between the two of you. Um, so you can be on one side, the energy you may resonate more, <clears throat> excuse me, on one side, and you the other person may resonate more on the other side. Take it how it resonates. Um, yeah, so let's jump right into it, Taurus. Let's get the energy, the personality traits, and things like that. I do feel like this is one specific energy. I'm not picking up on multiple people trying to speak at one time. The reason why I'm picking up on this energy, this is someone that has been kind of shy to express themselves <clears throat> or speak up. There's this energy of someone feeling like it wasn't the right time. Or there was too many energies conflicting. There was too many things going on. It was very confusing for someone. However, this is someone that's having a breakthrough. Okay. If this is someone that was telling themselves it'll never work out. Um, <clears throat> me and Taurus will never get on the same page or anything like that. I do feel like it's a difference. Hold on, that's my daughter calling. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm back. Um, this is someone in the past, I feel like they're having an epiphany. They're no longer confused. They're no longer afraid. Um, I do feel like this is someone that... Um, hmm. Was trying to control the situation. Or trying to control the direction of what, where this was going between the two of you. Um, whatever setbacks that came about as far as time. October can be very significant. October 16th could be significant for someone. Whatever was chaotic. This may be someone that's recently just broke up with someone. Or they, they recently broke a spell that was keeping them in like mental confusion mental fog okay because we have the tower twice on things being unable to grow okay due to some type of confusion so they've had a recent reality check or something to that degree because we have fun times here and all of the fingers are pointing with with like the number one i think yeah so like Someone wants to have fun times with you. I, I feel like this person is no longer resisting this or being stubborn about it. They're going to approach you, Taurus. Bring you in whatever clarity. This may also be someone that has that no longer drinks or indulges uh, in like the fantasy realm. It's like someone's coming out of daydreaming, fantasizing, and they're ready to communicate. They thought about this over and over and over again. They pondered on it. And it's like they're making up their mind. Whatever poor choices that they were making in the past, they feel like that contribute, contributed to something not working between the two of you. And um, they're, they're ready to, to turn that karmic wheel in the right direction. So it feels like someone wants to come and make things right with you. Mm hmm. I feel like this is going to be very unexpected, but I do feel like this is premeditated where someone's intentionally coming towards you. You got two people coming towards you. One person is more stable than the other. And the other person is. It feels like this person is like overly cautious all the time, like they don't want to. They don't want to be foolish. They don't want to make the wrong decision. Either way, both people are coming to confess something towards you. Yeah. 
And they feel like the energy is never going to change or shift for them unless they come and make things right with you. This could be someone coming in to make things financially right with you. If they've been like missing or MIA for a long time, uh, they may be coming in to write karma with the Empress. So if you're like a mother figure or something like that and someone has been trying to convince you to heal the connection in order for them to show up and be a parent i feel like this person is going to just decide to stop a pro coming towards you for a good time and heal the connection and just focus on being there for children yeah it's like they're finally realizing that this relationship is unrequited and that they deserve better okay i feel like this person didn't want to let go of the connection because they didn't think that they could do something by themselves. But um, this person is realizing that trying to build something with you is a waste of time. Okay, so if you've been wanting an ex to like let you go, this person's going to release you. They're giving you back to the streets is what they said. Okay. This is definitely a breakup. Like they can go and be bad all by themselves. No one... You know, they were trying to hold on to you and get this connection. It's like, I just see this season of, like, you can have them, okay? And if this is someone that you want, it's almost like this is exactly what you wanted, Taurus. And it's here. Finally, someone lets you go. And they realize that there's no growth here. There's no connection. Y'all are not for each other. This person is definitely saying any any karmic connection, they're breaking up with that karmic connection um, or they're they're leaving that karmic connection behind. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is someone leaving a relationship, an engagement, a marriage or a job. It's a little bit of both happening. So take it how it resonates. But they're finally like severing ties and letting go. Of other options for some of you and then the other person is finally realizing that you're never going to forgive them or y'all are never going to be together and they're letting go as well all right avoiding a, a disaster is kind of like where the both of you are at right now no justice no peace okay it's never going to be sweet dreams y'all never going to get over the past no matter how much bribing glow up or re remodeling, reinventing that they're realizing that no one can, no one can change your mind towards unless you want it, and they letting go. Okay, they are gonna go through a grieving process, but ultimately, somebody about to sign some papers, child. All right, if they were trying to deny you a divorce, they gonna give you that. If your person was dealing with that type of situation, they finna release that too. It's like releasing all rights to a situation as well. Karmic retribution. <clears throat> all right, Taurus, let's get into your energy right quick. Um, In the past, Taurus, I am picking up you personally. You have, um, in the past, you feel like you've made some bad, bad decisions or bad deals with certain people. Um due to always wanting to finish what you start there were some connections that you may have held on longer to than you needed to out of like loyalty this is giving me strong loyalty this unconventional lifestyle reverse roles or just being a non-conformist in general it's kind of like where you're headed. Like you'll rather be single than to be unhappy in a relationship. You'll rather go your separate ways and call a spades a spades and break up rather than hate each other. There's this energy of I'd rather just be free. Even if that means I have to be single for the rest of my life, I am willing to do that versus settling or compromising for a relationship or a connection that I am not trying to hold on to. Point blank period. If it's confusing, um, it's like if it's too much work for it to come together, if it's too much drama involved, sneaking, being unable to be truthful, not being sure, 
feeling as if you're left, you're single anyway, even if you're in a relationship, there's this energy of like, we sleep on separate sides of the beds, we're on separate couches, um, we're in two different realities, we're just not on the same path anymore. I feel like you have been directly t letting someone know, like, I don't want to be with you. Their persistence to change your mind was making you raise your guards okay and because someone was intentionally and methodically trying to change your mind Taurus you had to kind of like go incognito be more mysterious keep things to yourself place these firm as boundaries because I feel like you knew somebody else would freak the fuck out with you not wanting like if you if you were to tell this person like i don't want to be with you or something like that this person can't handle the truth whoever the karmics were in your rela re previous relationships you understood they can't handle the truth so i feel like you were trying to avoid a disaster by pretty much just saying like hey it's let's just call it a wrap it's dead it's done yeah, they'll be sad. Yeah, they'll be mad. They may be a little upset at you, but it's be better than repeating the same lesson and the same cycle. So you, this is telling me, Taurus, you had to put your foot down. And was like, you had to do something that was best for you and this person. Because as long as this person was insisting, whoever this karmic person was, as long as they believed that y'all could work it all out. Just by like going out and having fun and overlooking the past. They were never going to listen to you. So you had to really kind of bring the tower down yourself. And tell them like straight up like I want to be single. I'm not running from you. I don't want to be with you. There's a difference. Somebody may have been accusing you of being a runner. Um, someone that just runs away from troubles. Runs away from healing. Runs away from intimacy. Run no you're just like No. You refuse to get the picture. I don't want to be with you. You refuse to get the message. Oh, they getting the message now. It's a wrap. So you do have some energies that are at a distance mourning over you. They are going through that process of moving, changing plans. Whatever plans they have for you, they got to rechange it, recourse direct. Because it feels like you've cut cords with these energetic ties. For some of you, I'm going to be honest with you. It feels as if these connections may have been trying to live rent-free in your mind. Some of them um, escaping their physical realities and living a fantasy one with you. For some of you as well. And it's like you you took back your power, you called back your power, and you were like, nah, you're not going to use me as a way to sneak over into my life and share your lessons with me. Like, this is not my lesson to learn. Yeah, and because I feel like a lot of these connections was making you doubt where you know you headed. Uh-huh. So when your energy was reading delays, cut cords, course redirect, I feel like these people were trying to confuse you. Yeah. By force. Forcing these um, false towers to fall to try to make you think like, oh, that's God telling you that you need to run back to the connections, run back to this. It was a fear tactic that was recently button that was recently hit to help you like fold on your belief systems and it's because people needed your energy to help pay for their debt okay and then they were going to put you in some type of tower and happy happy life happy wife happy husband or whatever trying to give you some type of online fear tactic like oh my god what if i am talking to like a incubus rather than a real person oh my god so superstition was really paranoia was really getting to the collective taurians like maybe i'm tapping into something that i shouldn't be tapping into that was like something that was casted 
a spell that was recently casted over the collective was recently broken. They almost got you, Taurus. That's what Spirit has said. They almost got you. They almost got somebody. They almost trapped you. They almost got you. They almost got you to let go of your free will and go back to the stables. Go back to your houses. Go back to your cubicles. Go back to your, your recent illusions that you broke free from. Yeah. Trying to help make you feel like nothing was going to come from this. It's never going to happen. Um, it, blocking your creativity. Like your belief was really tackled recently. Like in order for your your life to change, it's going to require your belief. And somewhere along the line, there was this spell that was casted over the collective that wanted you to doubt your beliefs and like have you running back in droves. And I feel like this was a way for for the spiritual realm to separate the real the real believers from the false believers. And I feel like the false believers are removing themselves on their own because it backfired on them. <laughs> for real. It backfired on them. You mirrored to them their inner child and it and it broke the spell. Whatever chaos, confusion, trust issues, you show them how how bad life could really be with you if they didn't let you go. Mm-hmm. All they had to do was let you go. Let go of fighting for you. Letting go of trying to make this relationship work. Letting go of this repetitious tendency to deceive you. This repetitious tendency to try to um, get over on you. Make you convert you over to their prejudices, their biases. And try to get you on their side. And they tried to do that by making you feel like you're... Like you have to rush into bed with a person. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're just afraid of intimacy. Or, oh, you're just afraid uh, you, you want to move slow because you struggle with in your own intimacy. No, this is your standards. And I feel like they didn't want you listening to your higher self. They didn't want to be your friend. They didn't want to move slow. And it's because you're really learning a spiritual lesson right now. These connections that were trying to get you to hurry up and, and be seduced by their looks. Be seduced by their sex appeal. Incubus, succubus type of energy. Trying to appeal to your, your, um, what's that word called? Your lustful eye. But you've already learned that lesson. There ain't no amount of, um, healing, fixing that you could do for another person that they don't want to do for themselves. And I feel like instead of falling in love with another person, you fall in love with yourself. And this is why they want you to watch your back. <laughs> Because it's like they know you don't trust them. So this person is going to go out and try to have a fun time. Try to make you jealous. This is like someone's attempt to take it up a notch. They plan on bringing this fictitious tower towards you. To make you believe that they're over you. Because they're going to try to use this tower as a way to make you jealous. So someone's going to try to repeat an old lesson that they once learned with you. Which was jealousy, envy, possessive energy. How they're going to do this. They're going to go out there. Get them an escort. Get them a boo thing. Or something like that. Post their pictures. Or just bring them around. Make it seem like they're moving on with that person. In order to get you to come out of this introverted energy. And chase after them. Someone wants you chasing them. You feel me? And they're going to try to make it seem like someone else is getting everything that you once had. And now you're going to be regretting. Someone wants another person regretting the day that they ever. It's like they're choosing to leave this person alone or leave you alone, Taurus. To go down a route of trying to make you jealous. <laughs> okay, it's like, okay, well, I'll go and date other people. How does that make you feel? I know you don't like being stuck here by yourself. I'll go out and have friend, friend, fun with friends um, and leave you with all of the responsibilities. 
I'm going to go spend all the money that we have in our bank account. There's shit like that. Real petty like. They're looking for ways to backstab you. And it's because you don't want to be with them. But again. You pretty much saying no is no. And that's a full sentence. Is all it took to trigger this button. In these people. And I do feel like. Whoever your person is. They're going through the same things that you're going through. It's an ongoing battle. But except this time, this person is not fatigued. And I feel like you're not fatigued either. Like you're standing up against. You're standing firm, ten toes down and where you stand and what you believe in. And you don't need another person being in your relationship with you. It's like you don't need another person to be to be patient for what you know God has for you. You're not desperate to move on. You're not desperate to just take anything or any type of relationship. You want to wait for the right relationship. You want to build where it's organic. So all of these connections that feel like they couldn't get you to break on your standards. This is like spirit telling you like you passed the test. You avoided a disaster. Because if you didn't do it yourself, spirit saying that they would have had to. They would have had to interfere. And slow down something in your life to give you a, a more tangible confirmation <laughs> that you're going the wrong way. So you went ahead and did it yourself. So kudos to you. Congratulations. You're learning from your past. You're getting in and out of, out of karmic relations, relations a lot faster is what I'm hearing. You're coming across that same old familiar energy and you're no longer kissing frogs you don't have to kiss every slimy ass grease ball that walk past you damn no matter if they want you or not you don't have to accept every last generous offer that somebody wants to give you check their car facts so let's see what this person's your person's next actions are towards you seven of cups <laughs> Okay. So I get that this person is planning on bringing options towards you. Mm-hmm. You got a couple people coming towards you. You got a couple people coming towards you. And I feel like it's more than just romance. I feel like you're going to have family coming towards you a little bit. <laughs> you got to be a very important person with death here. For people constantly to keep trying to revive a dead thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For people to literally go. I'm seeing all types of like paying, paying workers to work on you. Paying for more spells this is someone that will literally go to work and petition their ancestors petition the dead to really try to get something back going with you this person is very persistent with this lantern energy they don't give up and they will they will manifest in a in the dark they will do some 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 things Okay, to get a little bit of energy out of you. Whoa, they're not tired. This person is saying they got stamina. They don't get tired and they want you to know it's them. <laughs> they are convinced this is a, this is the next level. I think that this ain't even a person no, no more. This is the energy that takes physical form and uses someone closest to you as... Um... A Skywalker, Daywalker, or some shit like that. Doppelganger. I'm telling you. Because they refuse to take a bad... They refuse to let you go. It's like they, they done got a... This energy done got a taste of you. And they like, to hell with that. I'm not leaving without this one. Even if they can go get many other people. They are hell bent on not leaving without you. It isn't even about the love no more. This is an energy that has found a source or a supply 
and you Taurus. And you are always this person target. You're going to always be their target. You're going to always be their muse. And it's an energy that has taken physical form in someone that you know. You physically have to know this person. And when they feel, it's like they can see that you that you are not sleep that you can see them for who they are they can see that you have identified who they are in the spirit and it fucks with them they don't like that you can see them it's like um it's like once they know that you can see them they they'll do anything to be your friend stick around it's like like having gum stuck at the bottom of your shoe and you gotta work real hard to get it off of you it's like a stank Ooh. So they like to pretend like they're letting you go. You see what I'm saying? And then they take hold of this person's vessel again. Who is this in who is this emperor energy? Spirit, clarify the emperor and the hermit together, please, spirit. This is a this is this person is not holy. They do not have a spiritual, they are not spiritually tethered to the most high. Okay, both these spirits are unclean on this person. They're unclean on this person. The vessel is not clean. The spirit is not clean. And even if this person didn't want to do this entity's bidding, they have no choice but to keep coming after you. This person is physically tired, but they have no spiritual relationship with God. They have nowhere else to go. And this entity has promised that they will never go hungry or something like that. So this person kind of sold their soul. Yeah, to buy themselves more time. I've gotten this storyline before. Yeah, with, with, with ritual. This person doesn't have to do it, perform any more rituals with this curse. Look at this. Look at this deck. is too thick. So you have schedule in reverse. Okay. Schedule, management, plan, organize. This person has no plan. They're like a headless horseman. Okay. Ceremony, mystery, magic in reverse. They're like a headless horseman with no plan, no strategy. They're just cursed with misfortune they're cursed with some of y'all they're cursed with this entity on them for the rest of their life and they're about to lose some type of housing as well like no one else is they're gonna be like this is like they want this entity wants this person to know that there is no other options except you taurus you can't be with no one else except Taurus. They want you to believe that too. But it's not the person that's doing it. It's the energy, the third will. So this person got some type of incubus, succubus, dirty spirit, unclean, something that's trying to put you back in a jar, put you back inside of some type of spell, some type of ritual, some type of curse. But you... They they need you to get their ear. Something about influence. This person used to have an ability to influence you. But you you don't look at them the same way. So this person is going to try to remodel themselves. Or kind of like use family, friends, fake accounts, catfish, attack on the outside in. They'd have to come and try to get you to recommit in a desperate way. They about to pull, try to pull some strings, and it's like I said, it's not even at them. So I, whatever happens or becomes of this person, I wouldn't even feel bad because call it what you want. But this person is not. Um, I don't care what you say. This is a person's desperate final shot to buy themselves more time. 
As long as they're connected to you, they buy themselves more time. That's all it's about, avoidance. This person's avoiding karma. They're avoiding um, public humiliation. They're unhappy. And they are not whole. I don't care how much you cannot trust this person. So they, this person will sever a tie with you, but they always keep some type of cord that prevents you from being able to move on from this spiritual lesson. This is a deep ass cord. You done contract it because something has gotten a taste of you. And I don't care what you say. This person that be spelling, cursing over you, that, that got this bad juju trying to fuck with you, Taurus. They do not want to let you go. I don't care how much they they pretend like they walking away from you. You know this, Taurus. You got the moon in reverse. You know this. You know this person's a liar. You know this person is... You've studied this person. You've studied this person. You've tried to make, make peace with this person. You've tried to move away. You've tried to offer to help this person. But no amount of... And every time you tried to do that, it kind of fucked with your pockets and your blessings. And they would give you their spiritual illness... While they go out there and wave their their phallus around in this ongoing battle, they will come back and forth in between you and them over and over again. Eight of Wands slow you down by redirecting all of your power to them. This is what you call siphoning. They give you their pain. They give you their... It's like they give you their entity and then they siphon your life for theirs. And eventually you become unrecognizable. Mm. workaholic when you get into an energy of becoming like a workaholic and you abandon and you like don't really take time to balance out your inner child you know what i'm saying so how you how you keep this energy at bay from being able to how i see you doing this is by you Allowing this devil to feel like you're not on to it with the devil in reverse or that you're not trying to get rid of it. You have to let this this devil um, see the truth for themselves. Even if you told this person like, I'm done with this, I'm done with that. It, it would be like talking to a brick wall. It would be like going in circles. This person does not fucking care. Okay, they have a death wish. <laughs> But the moment you start pretty much calling this person out for the lies and the shit that they do behind the back, it's like you got to play crazy with this energy. Clarify this Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is like you not waiting for confirmation or clarity. You just fucking doing it when the spirit comes over you. So it's like spirit had to start communicating with you from a different channel because the thought was the realm that these spells tried to manipulate on so spirit had to intercede possibly by i don't know um redirecting your course right doing something that got your attention so that's kind of like how the tower keeps hitting they had to make physical tangible changes that you can see like uh-uh don't go down that way they didn't have time to give you the message anymore because the messages were being um distorted it was trying to make you worry. And then by the time you do something, this person is already in your house. The energy is already on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Clarify this devil. I feel like also you had to stop playing with the devil. And juggling it. You had to refuse to compromise. No justice, no peace, right? And that's what's killing it. You had to starve it. You got to starve this connection by keeping your heart open and trusting that anyone that tries to hurt your heart while it's open would reap horrible karma. You have to trust your intuition. 
and to a higher power. Because what I'm seeing here is the enemy wanted you to keep be defeated when it comes to love. The enemy wanted you to feel like you had to sh shell up and clam up. And they would keep you in a state of fear. Trapped in that state of fear. You chose to say, yes, I know I've been hurt. I've been hurt before. Yes, I know I've had my heart broken. Yes, my heart is not perfect. But I refuse to allow my past relationships to keep my heart closed off from love. And that empowerment decision that you made for yourself, it created, it, it hit a siren button and all the attachments that were leeching off of you had to leave immediately. You revoked access to your energies. So now they're going to try to come back in through physical vessels. Because now that you realize that they were trying to trap you, You was like, oh, hell no. You tried to trick me. <laughs> I feel like you had to wield your voice in a very um, dominant, forceful way. Yeah. You had to go back into your memory. Some of y'all had to do light language. Some of y'all had to go back to like speaking in tongues. Or you had to utilize some type of tradition of, of like, a, you know, like this is singing. To me, when I see um, Eight of Cups, Six of Cups. And the King of Swords in reverse, this is like Psalms 91. Yes, my God is good. My God is merciful. But my my God is also, um, my God is also willing to go to war on my behalf. When you are infringing on my free will. Yes. He is great, good, and terrible. So whenever necessary, I will call on the name. And whenever necessary, I will... Psalms 23, Psalms 21, Psalms 91. And it reminds you that you don't have no dominion over here. And that there is a place when you call upon justice. For people that are trying to block, restrict, and deny you. And try to make you believe. That you're hurting or you're too in pain to move on. This is like someone trying to invoke depression over you trying to invoke some type of energy over you and you caught that shit by the balls okay and you was like i'm gonna wring your neck today in the name of the whatever you believe in <laughs> so let's get you a this is spiritual mm -mm. let me get some damn keys for this desk so i can rattle them yeah i'm telling you somebody was trying to get forgiveness Fuck that. Stop focusing your energy on the past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So you wanted to dream a new dream. Dream a new reality and someone did not want you to outgrow them. We have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And I feel like that's how you're going to know. Because God, is, God has already re revealed to you that you don't have to rush. Even if you feel like you found your person, that person is not going to rush you. And it says transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on the past events. Your life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So again, this is going back to your thoughts. All right, give it time. It's time for you to play, color, draw, paint, channel that energy somewhere else. And it's going to bring in a new beginning. Because like I said, a lot of y'all are fighting spiritual warfare. I see it here. Taurus, I love y'all. I see y'all in the next one. Deuces. <laughs>